Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, that's for art. And uh, in the last video that I did, I said that I was going to do a tap some tapping because I've kind of got a bad attitude. I've been really hurt uh, emotionally. It's just really gotten to me lately about that gross negligence of the nuclear cartel. You can tell I've like been crying. I can't, I, it's really getting to me. I can't stop. I feel so uh powerless and i there's nothing i can do to help my children on this one and i can't even convince them to get actively engaged so it really hurts me so i thought i would do uh, a tapping video and show you guys what i do when i do tapping because it does help me cope it helps me get over everything so when we tap i'm going to go through where we tap in case you want to tap along with me and um, you repeat what I say, or you can say your own words. But really the key is even if you just focus your mind on what you want, uh, on the tapping and on the imbalance, like your unhappiness about it all, it, by the end of it, you really will feel a lot better. It's very important. We start here on the karate chop. We're going to karate chop. You can do either side, your right or left side. It doesn't matter. But you karate chop. Uh, you tap on your karate chop. We say some affirmations. It's very important at the end. Uh, then you focus on the negative stuff. You say some affirmations or focus on the negative stuff. And then you say, I deeply and completely love, honor, and approve of myself. Best if you say the words out of your own mouth. You don't have to, but it's much more effective if you repeat that. I love, honor, approve, and accept myself. And then when we start doing the tapping, they're kind of meridian lines. So we're going to tap on either side. You can pick your right or your left side. But you want to tap at the start of your eyebrow, at the corner of your eye, right on your cheekbone, underneath your mouth, in the crease of your chin here, on your clavicle or on your collarbone, underneath your armpit. When we end, we'll tap on our head, and then we'll hit here again. So, I'm going to get a little glass of water. <sighs> so, I take full responsibility for my own well-being. Even though I feel really seriously overwhelmed by all the newfound knowledge that I've gotten lately about nuclear. <sighs> and even though I never expected to have to learn about nuclear... Or, and actually, to tell you the truth, even though I really expected our government to really be protecting us, I feel so betrayed. And actually, I feel like our lives are threatened. And our, our, it's not like feel like. Our future is threatened. Life on this planet is threatened. And I'm really freaked out that nobody else on the planet, except for maybe a few thousand people, even give a flying fuck. They're so worried about getting their little piece of bread in the morning, they don't care about the future of the planet. And I, I mean, that's exactly what the nuclear cartel planned, too. That's the, like, annoying part. Even my own children think I'm a complete lunatic. Oh, my God, it's so overwhelming just learning about all this new stuff. And even though I'm really overwhelmed by all of it, and I'm angry that I have to learn it, and I'm angry that nobody's doing anything, and I'm angry that our government isn't doing anything and using us like lab rats. And even though all of that... I deeply and completely love, honor, approve, and accept myself. Thinking about the nuclear cartel and the lies they're telling us. I'm thinking about the nuclear cartel and just, just the whole mission of secrecy from the very get. Like they knew it was harmful. They've known for 40 more, 50 fucking 60 years. They didn't even tell us that we had nuclear waste for 20 years. And now they're storing it in the cheapest fucking possible containers that are only a half an inch thick that start cracking after 20 years that only last for 100 years. As opposed to in Europe, where in Europe they put them in casts for 18 inches thick. And that's not even a solid solution. But at least they last for 250 years instead of a hundred years oh my god I can't even believe I have to talk about it like this and the fact that they're just allowing these fucking guys that run these industries to just use us as lab rats they have no concern 
for our well-being, no concern for human life, no concern for life on our planet, no concern for our children or for our children's future and what we're leaving them. And they're continuing to build fucking new nuclear power plants. And on top of that, they lie all the time, not only to the world, but to themselves. These motherfucking so-called nuclear priests, they actually goddamn believe their own fucking pack of lies. Even in the flying face of animals dying on the ocean, oncology rates being off the charts, people dying of cancer, getting all kinds of mal maladies and diseases. It's just off the charts unreasonable. And there must be a solution. We have to allow these people to create the solution. And we're going to allow the nuclear industry to move into the uh, mitigation industry instead of the promulgation industry. Mitigation industry instead of the promulgation industry. We're going to allow the nuclear industry to really create the solutions, to come up with them and to have the courage to come up with them. Because the solutions are there, we just haven't even been looking. So we're going to move it. How We're going to get enough people in this movement this anti it's not even anti-nuclear it's pro-life we're going to be the real pro-life movement we're going to be the pro-life movement that really defends the planet and stops the technologists not just the nuclear technology but especially the nuclear technology and we're going to create solutions and we're going to create the science and we're going to have people creating ideas and acting on their ideas to really work with these people and stop the nuclear destruction and stop the nuclear lies i just the lies, the lies, the lies, the lies, the lies are just getting to me. Oh my gosh. There must be solutions, and there are solutions. When an action, what is it, Murphy, the Newton's Law, when uh, something is in motion, it goes in a straight line until something knocks it out of its way. Well, we're going to be the way, the thing that knocks it out of the way. And it doesn't take a lot of movement to change the trajectory of the nuclear industry. They think that they know they know they're over within ten years, and we are going to help them get over it in two years. Two years is the deadline when all the nuclear power plants on the planet will be stopped. Without a nuclear all-out nuclear war on this planet, they're going to see the errors of their ways, and we're going to get millions and millions of people actively engaged, and people will understand that the nuclear is nuclear is one of the Next to chemtrails is the biggest threat on our planet. It's the only thing that can really kill the ocean. And in fact, we're going to find solutions to prevent the ocean from being killed before all life in the oceans die. And we're going to keep up our spirits and continue to appreciate and enjoy life. And we're not going to let the information of gross 70 years of gross incompetence get to us. But we are going to do our homework and learn about this industry, and we're going to shake the brains up of the brainwashed scientists who really believe the pack of bullshit lies. And we're going to get the education underneath our brains because we can comprehend this to save ourselves. Because we're planning to save the future for our children. We're helping to save the planet for our children. We're going to help the nuclear industry create solutions for our children and for our future, for all life on this planet. And we'll be able to stop them and move forward. And we're just going to make every effort and we're just going to tell the truth, do our homework, and educate the scientists who have been ignoring science and have been brainwashed. We're going to get the scientific data. We're going to compare their information and counter all of their propaganda lies that they're being paid to tell so that, because they can keep a job. And we're going to help them come over to our side so we can start creating solutions because there are solutions that will be had. And we'll be able to really move through this from now on. And we're going to like refuse to be overwhelmed. We'll take the information about the nuclear cartel 
and figure out solutions and contact all the right people so that we can start moving towards solutions. And even though there's super overwhelming information about all of this, and even though I've been really so upset I can hardly stop crying about it, and even though I've been very upset and feeling really like I'm failing my children because I can't stop the nuclear industry right away, even though I have that sense of frustration and even though all of that all of it all of it that just weighs on my heart I deeply and completely love honor approve and accept myself I deeply and completely love honor approve and accept myself I deeply and completely love honor approve and accept myself take a little bit of water after you do some tapping I always use these juice jars to drink out my water anyways you guys I don't know how you feel but I feel better so I guess as Brad Yates would say rinse and repeat as necessary so you can make up your own tapping about the whole nuclear stuff everybody has their own response to it and your own anxieties but I just thought I'd share with you what tapping's about because it does actually whew, calm me down and help me cope and really appreciate living and make me want to juggle I got all my juggling gear over there so Talk to you guys later. Put your courage feet on. And um, I'll see you tomorrow night. I'll read some more tomorrow. Promise. Ciao.